Hello and welcome to TechMan. So today we are going to install Kali Linux 2020.1b in a virtual box machine. So let's get started. So just open a browser and download the Oracle virtual box. Here is the official website for the Oracle Virtual Box. Just go to Downloads and download it. Just choose the Windows host. See, it's getting downloaded. Well, I actually downloaded it earlier. So I'm just going to cancel it and after that go to offensive security Here is the link for the virtual box image. Just click on it. And here download the Kali Linux virtual box image. We are going to download 64 bit image. Here is the image. I also downloaded it earlier so I am not going to download it. I will provide the links in the description. So here are the virtual box setup. Just double tap on it. Here it started. Just click next. Here are all the components of the virtual box. You don't have to change it anything. You can change the location by clicking the browse button. I'm not going to change it. It's default going to install on C program files Oracle slash virtual box. Just click next. Next. And yes and install within a couple of minutes it will get installed just click finish And it will start the virtual box here. Yeah. Now click on import and browse where the Kali Linux image you downloaded. Here's mine. Double tap on it and just click next. Here are all the components you can see the visual. You can see here the two CPU cores is allotted and the two gigabytes of RAM is allotted to this virtual machine. And the USB ports and sound card, network card, storage, everything is allotted. You don't have to change anything. Just click import. Click agree. Within few minutes it will get loaded.
and now you can see our machine is now here loading go to the settings and see all the settings and just go through it and make it at your own choice it's like this here 2 gb of RAM you can change the amount of RAM which you will allot to the virtual machine here you can change the processor counts we have a few other more settings here storage see here total 9.17 gigabytes of storage is allotted to the machine and virtually it is 80 gigabytes here audio network and well i have to kind of select usb 1.1 due to some hardware incompatibility i have to choose this you can choose any of the other just okay now we are going to ready to start our generation just click start And here our virtual machine is started. So the default username and password is Kali Kali. So just type K A L I Kali as a username and Kali also the password and enter. As you can see, our Kali Linux machine is now working and we are ready to hack. So the main purpose of setting Kali Linux in virtual machine is to protect our data from other hackers. If anything goes wrong in between our pen testing or hacking, we don't lose any of our important data. And anything goes in between our process and our machine get cracked. So we don't have to think that our main computer is crashed it's just a virtual machine we can set up again for a further process thank you for watching do like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe our channel for the latest updates